welcome back to Sopna's Macbook. Hope you all are fine and safe. Today we can start a new chapter, Data Handling, Part 1. In your day-to-day -day life, you might have come across information such as marks scored by the students of your class in the mathematics unit test, number of storybooks read by each of your friends, etc. The information collected in all such cases is called data. Data is usually collected in the context of a situation that we want to study. Sometimes data is represented graphically to give a clear idea of what it represents. Do you remember the different types of graphs which we have learned in earlier classes? First one is pictograph. Pictorial representation of data using symbols are called pictograph. See this example. Number of students using different types of transport in a school. Bus, car, walking and bicycle. And one smiley represents three children. See number of students using bus. Seven smileys are there. That means seven into one smiley represent three. Seven into three. 21 children are using bus. Next one card. Four smileys, that means four into three, 12 children are using car. Walking. Six are, six smileys, so six into three, 18 are walking. Next bicycle. Three smileys, so nine children are using bicycle. So this way we can represent data using pictograph. Next one bar graph it is a graph that represents categorical data with rectangular bars with heights or lengths proportional to the values that they represent the bars can be plotted vertically or horizontally bar heights give the quantity of each category bars are of equal width with equal gaps in between. This is a bar graph. Miss Sarah, a teacher of Edwards Elementary School, recorded the favorite subjects of her students in a bar graph. Use the graph to answer the questions. So vertically, number of students are represents. Then horizontally, subjects are written. Social studies, math, science, English, and other subjects. So number of students, vertically it is placing, one unit represents 5 students, 2 unit means 10 students. Some questions are written down, which subject is the second most popular? That is most popular subject is math, bar graph is showing math only, that is 50 students favorite subject is math. So the second most popular subject is English. That is English is the favorite subject of 35 students. See bar graph is showing see 35. 35 students. Then. Next question. Which subject is less popular science or English? For science, 30 students favorite only. But for English, 35 students favorite. So which is the less popular comparing to science and English? Science is the less popular subject. Next one. Which subject is favorite for 50 students? Number of students 50. That means math is the favorite of 50 students. Then, fourth question, which subjects have the same number of words? See, the bar graph is showing 30 students' favorite is social studies, same way science also. So, these two, same only it is showing. So, same words only, 30, 30 each. So, social studies and science are the same number of words. Hope you all understand.
Next is double bar graph. A bar graph showing two types of data simultaneously. It is useful for the comparison of data. See one example. Vertically, scores are written. Horizontally, four students. Names also written. Scores on the practice test and the test. So here, Ariel scored 60 marks in practice test and 70 marks in test. So Ariel scored 10 marks more in test. So this is the comparison of practice test and test. The next, Sai scored 75 marks in practice test and 90 mark in test. So, Sai also scored more marks in test. Then, De Clerk. De Clerk scored 55 marks in practice test and test also. Then, next, Tara. Tara scored 80 marks in practice test and 95 marks in test. So, Tara scored more marks in test. So, this is, this is very useful for the comparison of data. Hope it is clear. Now we can do one question in the question in the textbook. Draw an appropriate graph to represent the given information. Month and number of watches sold. July 1000 watches sold. August 1500 watches sold. September 1500 watches sold. October 2000 watches sold, November 2500 watches sold, December 1500 watches sold. Now we can draw a bar graph. See this. Vertically, number of watches sold is written and horizontally, months. So July 1000 watches sold. So one unit represents 500 watches. So July 1000 watches sold. Here only a bar, bar is showing till here. Then August 1500. September again 1500 watches sold. October 2000 watches sold. November 2500 watches sold. December 1500 watches sold. So November only more watches sold and uh, July only less watches sold. So this is the best way to represent data using bar graph. Hope it is clear. We can continue in the next class. Thank you.